Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 18. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and download the workbook YouTubers Love Excel 17 to 21. Hey, in an earlier video, we extracted a date from some text. And we used the number 9 because we observed in the set of data here, here it's, this is a little short list, this is a big list, but we thought we saw 0, 0, colon, 0, 0, colon, 0, 0, space, which was nine characters. Now, I want to show you how to verify that a pattern, because you know you don't want to eye, you don't want to just look through a bunch of data and eye it, because our eyes always make mistakes. We want Excel to use logic and formulas, functions, or various other things to verify that 9, because we needed the number 9 to extract data. Now, let's look at the formula we created in that earlier video. I hit F2 here. Value left of that cell len of that cell minus 9. Now, that's the minus 9 that we need to verify, because if we're going to use a uh, hard-coded 9 like this in a formula, you need to verify that that pattern actually exists. There are nine characters at the end of this text string that I want to uh, hack off, in essence. Now, I want to show you how this works, value left and len. Control Enter. With that cell selected, I want to invoke Formula Evaluator. It's the coolest thing, one of the coolest things. Before we had Formula Evaluator, I don't know what we did. We did a lot of F9ing. Uh, here it is, Formula Auditing Evaluate Formula. In 2003, it's um, Tools, Formula Auditing, and then Evaluate Formula. Now, let's look at this. Let's see how it examines this. Notice the underline says, hey, I'm going to look there first, so Evaluate. Hey, look, it's looking at that text string, and you can tell it's text string because it's in quotes. Then next, it's going here because it's in the left. It says left of this. But now we need to say how many characters from the left we need to take. We can't just take um, 10 or 9 because this, this date varies. It could be one character at the beginning or two. This total number of characters here for the date could be 10 or 9. So that's why when we get to how many characters you want to take from the left, you have to say the length of the whole thing minus 9. So the length of this whole thing, it's looking at the text, is 18 minus 9, which is 9. Now watch this. It would work fine if left actually delivered a number, but left delivers text. So then you have to use the value function, which is programmed to take a text string and convert it to a number. I'm going to click Close. Just to verify, left, it looked there. It took the length, subtracted 9. It took that left, but that left delivers text to a cell. So we had to use the value function to convert that text to a number. And the whole question of this is how in the world do you verify that 9 when you observe it? All right, let's go over here. Um, equals, and we'll use the right function. Open parentheses, the right of what? That, comma, 9, because that's what, the, what we saw with our eyes. But we want Excel to tell us for sure. Now, what does right of this 9 does? It's going to deliver those quotes. Now, I could double click. Oh, but darn, we have to eye this, too. <coughs> A little sick here. <coughs> so I'm going to click on the top cell and hit F2. To verify with true or false, we then say equals, and in quotes, space, 0, 0, colon, 0, 0, colon, 0, 0, end quote. That is what we actually thought we saw with our eyes. And so we're saying in this formula, is that text string equal to that text string? Control Enter and double click and send it down. Now, what I want to do is, since my eyes still don't work very good, I could scroll through and see the tr trues. But on a huge data set, you might actually not see it. So then now we'll do uh, conditional formatting, Alt-O-D. In 2007, you go to the Home, Styles, and Conditional Formatting. In 2003, you click on the Format menu and go to Conditional Formatting. Here, you'd say New Rule. And then there's Use Formula. And I just want to say, for a formula, this, and I'm going to hit F4, 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 equals False. And by the way, there's something up here that could uh, do this too. I always use formulas because I'm not limited by the built-in features when I'm doing conditional formatting. So I always tend to think in formulas, true-false formulas. All right, and then the format will be, I'll click Fill, which is 
pattern in earlier version, and I'll say yellow, click OK, click OK. And now I can scroll through, and, and the yellow will help me find it too. It looks like, boom, I go all the way down. I see all the trues. I don't see any yellow. So it looks like the pattern I observed with my eyes 9, which I used in a formula over here, is good. And you should do that kind of stuff when you're really extracting data. Verify that that 9, that pattern we existed, works. All right, we'll see you next YouTuber Love Excel.